Hi and welcome to a new video. Normally, sending snaps requires the use of the Snapchat camera exclusively. However, you can also send images or videos from your gallery. In this video, I will show you how to send files from your camera roll as a normal snap on your iPhone. Let's go. First, open Snapchat and swipe up from the camera to access the Memory section. From there, go to the Camera Roll tab and choose any photo directly from your gallery. Then, you can create your adjustments to the photo or send it as it is. Although this step works fine, sending from the Camera Roll treats your message as a regular chat rather than a snap. However, there is a workaround in which you can manually adjust your photo in order to send it as a normal snap. To do this, access the Memory section again and choose any photo from the Camera Roll. Next, tap on the Scissor icon from the toolbar, select the entire image and save a copy of it. This procedure creates a sticker out of the edited photo. Then return to the Snapchat camera page. Tap on the stickers icon, go to the scissor tab and finally select the photo you've recently created. After that, enlarge the sticker to its regular size and send it to any of your friends. Now the photo from your gallery is sent as a normal snap. In addition to the previous method, I'll show you another way to deliver your photo as a sticker so that Snapchat recognizes it as a regular snap. To start, take a random photo on your Snapchat camera and tap on the sticker icon. From the Star tab, click the Camera Roll option amongst the row of stickers and choose a photo directly from your gallery. If you like, you can tap on the photo to change it to one of the available shapes. Unlike the previous method, sticker photos cannot be enlarged beyond the maximum size. Nevertheless, this will still create a snap with better quality. Alternatively, you may simply use a lens to give you direct access to your gallery. On the camera page, tap on the emoji button and go to explore. Search for upload and choose any lens from the given results. Next, select any photo from the provided sliding bar, tap on the designated capture button and then send it to your friend. On the other hand, if you like to send a video as a normal snap, I recommend downloading the OVF Editor third-party app. Fortunately, this is compatible both with iOS and Android. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store for free. However, take note that this only allows creating a free video snap of not longer than 60 seconds. In order to send a video longer than a minute, a premium subscription is required. After installation, open the app, click on the Photo or Video button. Select the video file from your gallery and then tap on Choose. You can even crop the video length, adjust the frame size or simply send it as it is, and then confirm with Finish. The next screen automatically redirects to Snapchat and pastes the edited video in the Camera tab. Now, simply send it to any of your friends and it should be sent as a regular snap. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.